welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be showing you this jump starter by Victisen. It's 300 milliamp peak um, jump starting pack, which also can act as a power bank with a built in 8000 milliamp rechargeable battery and also a little LED light. So let's have a look. If I can get it out. Okay, so you get a little manual. Certificate of QC. Someone's checked it. Manual there in English and other languages. Telling you about how to jump start. Make sure there's seventy five percent charge before you connect to the engine. Red to red, black to black, pretty straightforward. Let's have a look. So, wow, it's a really small unit, nice and compact. Now, look at that for a colour. It's like a piano black. Nice finish to it. Comes fully charged, so that's handy. So, we've got this light colour grey around the outside. We've got an input here 5 volt, 2 amp. To charge it, got an LED light there. I'm assuming you press and hold. Yep, there you go. So you got the LED light, press and hold, turn it off. It's not an amazing light, but it will help you out if you drop your keys or something. And obviously, you've got the USB there to charge your mobile phone, and it's 2.1 amps, so it's going to be a fairly fast ish charge. This flap is for the jump kit, which I will assume is in the bottom here. Yep. Okay, so we've got a USB to micro USB charger on a flat ribbon, that's quite nice. And then you've got the jump starter part itself. It's obviously got some gubbins in there for resistance. This plugs in, it only goes in one way, it's got a flat area there, so you can only put it in one way, so that goes in like so. You then put the positive on your positive terminal clip it on negative on your negative terminal clip it on press the button crank the engine for no more than three to five seconds if it doesn't start turn it off just leave it wait a while let this cool down retry and it should start I'll be um, at the end of this video there will be a clip of me jump starting a car that we've currently got in our front garden my daughter crashed her car so we ended up buying another car to take the front end of that car off to put onto her car so I've got the old car in the front garden it does run the only thing wrong with it is the clutch so what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery completely from that connect this up just to show you that it will even run the car from scratch and that's a 1.3 um, obviously this isn't designed for jump starting huge cars um, I don't know what it says the limit is let's just have a look uh, up to two litre so yeah if you're looking at a diesel it's going to be like a very small diesel a 1.3 litre diesel petrols up to two litre um, I'd say probably you'd be pushing anything higher than 2 litre anyway. This is going to be tested out on a 1.3 and that's ideal sort of size. 1.3, 1.6 or if you've got a little 1.1 litre engine or 1 litre engine this is going to be great for that. It's nice compact size. It's basically the size of a power bank. I mean look at it, it's tinky. You could easily stick this in your glove box. 13.5 centimetres by 8 centimeters by two centimeters so and the other thing this would be good for is motorcycles you could fit this underneath your uh, motorcycle seat there's always space under there when I'm on motorbikes there was always a uh, little space underneath the seat you'd easily get that in there keep that in there if your motorbike had a flat battery you can also use this to jump start a motorbike any vehicle which is 12 volt basically under a 2 litre size so uh, most motorbikes are under 
sort of two litre, well, 99.9%, .9%, I think. I don't think there's any two litres. There's a 1500cc, I know that, Hondas, some of the Harleys are quite big, but most motorbikes are either 900, 600, or like the scooters are uh, 125 and 50s. So, yeah, enough chat. Hopefully the uh, part of the video next will help you see just how good this um, little jump start kit is. Okay, as you can see, this vehicle's got no battery in it at all. Get a little jump start out. I'm hoping there's enough petrol in it to actually get it going. It's not connected. There's no radiator connected or anything, so it's just this little tiny battery connected to the earth. Just shows you this little jump starter, tiny little pack will start this car and it hasn't even got a battery fitted in it. So, hopefully, this video has been of some help to you.